video, I'm going to talk through lesson three, page one, the polarity of water. Before watching this video, I am asking that you've already watched the video that is embedded within the CT STEM website. If you're not having problems accessing the video here, the video is also available in the honors chemistry schedule right there. Okay, so I wanna look at this screen first just because I think the image on this video is really good um, at showing the bonds within a water molecule and the bonds between one wa water molecule and the water mo molecule next to it. So first I just wanna look at one water molecule here. Okay, so we have oxygen in blue and all the valence electrons that are associated with oxygen and all the, all the electrons in general that are associated with oxygen are colored in blue. And then here we have hydrogen and here we have another hydrogen and everything associated with hydrogen is colored red. So we can see that oxygen and hydrogen have this sharing of valence electrons happening. The sharing of valence electrons allows for oxygen to have a full octet. Okay, so if we just trace around here, we see that oxygen has eight electrons around it. Two of the electrons are being shared with hydrogen, but still has eight. And then if we just look at just hydrogen, hydrogen has two, okay? So we have the octet rule matched or met for both of these atoms, okay? So that's looking at the bonds within one hydrogen or one water molecule. If we're looking then between these water molecules, that's the next thing that we wanna kind of chat through. And I'm gonna go through these terms first and then come back to this image. So we have the sharing of electrons happening, but because oxygen and hydrogen are two very different types of atoms, there's an unequal sharing of electrons happening. So you end up with oxygen having a slightly negative charge and hydrogen having a slightly positive charge. And just like we talked about, um, I don't know, three units ago, um, negative and positive things attract, right? So if we look here, we have this oxygen, okay, which has, which is sharing more, which has more electrons, so is slightly negative, being attracted to this slightly positive hydrogen, okay? We call that a hydrogen bond. Okay, so that's here and that's defined here as well. So if you look at water, for water we have a water molecule here and within each water molecule you have two polar covalent bonds. Okay, so those are right here and right here. They're listed as covalent bond here, but they are polar covalent. Um, and then you have hydrogen bonds in between different water molecules. Okay, so why does this matter for this unit specifically? So if we think back to lesson two, for lesson two we looked at the, um, we looked at different ionic solids dissolving in water. And to think about what's happening with energy here, we also want to just be able to visualize what is happening at a microscopic level, okay? So here we have sodium chloride, and if you're needing a little bit of a review of ionic bonds and how ionic solids fit together and all that, that is all right here, okay? So here we have sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is made up of the cation sodium and the anion chlorine, okay? So here's chlorine right here. Chlorine is here, and sodium is here in the silver. Um, so what happens is water comes in, and makes contact with this solid and starts to break it up so that we have the sodium here and the chlorine here. And then we can kind of start to see what this looks like within the water. So these little bubbles, circles, are representing water molecules. And I'm going to assume that at this point we can take a guess that the red is oxygen and the white is hydrogen. There is an attempt in this image to make these atoms relatively the size that they are, but it's still kind of exaggerated a little bit. Hydrogen is much smaller than than oxygen, right, which is why it's drawn a little bit smaller. Um, but again, there is some exaggeration to what the sizes are. 
So we see here we have chlorine, which is negative, and all of the waters that are around the chlorine are situated so that the hydrogens, which are partially positive, are closer to the negative. Here we have sodium, which is positive, and we have all the waters around that sodium orientated so that the negative part of the oxygen is closer to the sodium.